Hi everyone, I'm Oliver Perkovich and I'm the founder and executive director of an NGO called Skaterstan. Skaterstan was founded on the streets of Kabul in Afghanistan in 2008 and our aim is to empower children through skateboarding and creative education. I'm not an educational expert. I'm also not an expert in international development. So when I started skateboarding in Kabul on the street, and I saw that a lot of kids were interested in joining me, I didn't have any preconceived ideas about, about what they needed. So I asked them. Most of them were street working and they told me that they wanted to go to school. And when I asked the girls what they needed, they told me that they wanted an indoor space to skate so that they wouldn't be in danger. The following year, Skaterstan opened its first skate school, an educational space with an indoor skate park. This accidental start to Skaterstan has served me pretty well. I learned that our starting point in education should always be to ask children what they want to learn. Interested children are motivated children, and motivated children tend to progress much more quickly. More importantly, they stay motivated. And that's how lifelong learning comes about. By giving people the option to pursue something that interests them in a way that encourages their learning. This model of child-led learning is by its very nature inclusive. We often think of inclusion as something to retrofit. How do we adapt? our existing programs to make them more accessible for everyone. This is a mistake. If we start by asking children what and how they wish to learn, we will create inclusive models from the very start. If I hadn't asked the girls first, the chances are we would have built a school with an outdoor skate park and then wondered why the girls weren't showing up. A lot of people worry that child-led learning will lead to children missing out on vital skills. This is a disservice to young people and their desire to shape their own futures. So let me ask you this. What can you do to turn your classrooms, your lecture halls, your forest schools and learning spaces into places where children feel safe enough to express what they really want and need from you? This is the start point for education that is truly inclusive. This is the start point for children who can go on to change the world. You just won't quite know how.